welcome back friends today in this video we will see how to perform sickling test or sickle solubility test why this test need to detect the abnormal red cells that abnormal red cells are sickle cells because they are sickle in shape or crescent shape for this uh, we are using this atlas kit this kit containing two reagents reagent a and reagent b this is reagent b reagent b is small in this video first i told you this video i made before also uh, but now i am remaking it so the kit reagent expiry maybe you will see already expired but when you are using the kit first you are checking the first you check the expiry of the kit so reagent b we will put in reagent a and these are the sickle cell controls we will use these control to check our reagent is in working condition or not and once we will prepare the reagent this reagent we can use 15 days for and after 15 days you have to discard the reagent for this we need patient edta whole blood because as you know sickle cells are that are present in rbc's red blood cells and red blood cells are present in whole blood so first we will prepare our working reagent you open the reagent a that is in liquid form and reagent b that is in powder form that we will put in reagent a carefully so that this powder should not be um, spread outside full should be go inside the bottle after that close the bottle properly and mix the reagent like eight position like a eight we are writing same like that way mix the reagent and then keep the reagent at least for five to ten minutes so that reagent become ready write the date after making the reagent so that we know that 15 days are finished and after 15 days we have to discard the reagent if reagent is not finished if it is finished before 15 days it's good after that we need three tubes first tube we will label as negative for negative control second tube we will label as plus like positive control and third tube we will label with patient if you have more samples you can label with patient's names this is positive control and this is for patient like that stand or in rack you can keep now when the reagent is ready we will take 2 ml reagent and we will keep in uh, we will put in in positive tube and in patient tube negative control is already prepared one so i will show you positive and patient uh, preparation so this is 1 ml tube 1000 microliter first we will take 1 ml and we will put in positive uh, now you see there is bubble so it means pipetting is not done properly so we will repeat the pipetting so this is 1 ml we will put in positive and again we will take 1 ml we need 2 ml working reagent same 2 ml we will put in patient tube after that discard the tip and close the reagent and then we will take 20 microliter positive control mix the control before using take 20 microliter carefully and put in the positive control tube and mix well after preparation we will keep 5 minutes at least then we will read the result now we will take 20 microliter patient sample before taking sample also just see the sample is mixed properly 
it means plasma should not come with the sample we need whole blood after that mix the patient sample with the reagent and keep for 5 minutes now for result reading to as we will see the patient positive or control positive we how we will see we need the one paper on that paper you can draw the lines you can print like that table form like that size of uh, table and then we will see first you see negative control how we will know this is negative we can see the lines behind the sample as you can see lines are clearly visible it means that test, this is negative in positive control we will see the turbidity and because of turbidity we cannot see the background lines behind the sample it means this is positive and same like for patient in patient also you can see lines are visible it means the patient result is negative this sickling test we will perform as negative or positive for more details we will do the hb electrophoresis in hb electrophoresis we will know the percentage how many percent sickle cells are present in the body so like that we will do we need this paper to see the results of positive and negative and patient also positive or negative like that we will read the our results so like that we will perform the sickling test in the laboratory i hope that you understand how to perform sickling test as i told sickling test is used to perform to see the abnormal red cells and these abnormal red cells are crescent shape sickle shape so we will this is qualitative test in this test we will only know the uh, patient result is negative or positive if it is negative we will report negative but if it is positive we will report positive and for the confirmation we will refer the hb electrophoresis test to confirm that how many percentage sickle cells are present in the body so this video is completed here thank you